we estimate that we won't have to uh, go back up to one of these poles for another 15 years. We are at Coffee Creek Correctional Facility and we're right outside of Portland, Oregon in Wilsonville, Oregon and it is the women's correctional facility. So the project was to retrofit the site lighting for energy savings but also for improved security throughout the campus. Well, so the immediate opportunity that we saw right away is based on the amount of energy the customer was having to purchase there was significant amount of savings. So we had two, really two goals we were looking to do. One is to conserve energy, and the second is to improve their lighting. So they had two problems we were, we were looking to solve. The light levels were very poor from a very dilapidated um, existing legacy lighting system. And we knew that we had technology that we could offer, propose, you know, in our solution that could reduce the amount of money they had to spend annually on their electricity bill and improve the lighting as well. Uh, generally, when you light a prison, we tend to use our high mast fixture on very tall poles. But because this particular uh, institution is in the middle of an urban setting, we had to select products that would give really high light levels, but also keep them from interfering with the neighborhood. So we chose Hall of Fame's Mongoose fixture and American Electric Lighting's Audubon fixture. They both provided the light levels needed and the energy savings needed. We also used the Predator Flood. The reason we chose that fixture is it has prismatic glass, so it allows for high light levels but also very low glare to not interfere with the patrols. They gave to us the lighting layout, the provisions for that. We, we gave them what our minimum standards were and our needs and they, they worked with us to uh, help accomplish that using our existing uh, poles and locations. So we've uh, cut back tremendously on the labor that, and uh, the expense for uh, replacing the lamps and ballasts. The biggest difference is, is the actual energy savings it's itself. It's about $65,000 um, in, in energy savings, but also the actual uh, the, the, the lighting itself, it's improved uh, safety and security and visibility uh, at nighttime for our staff and our mobile patrols that go around 24-7. The lighting levels that we have are excellent for us. They're, they're better than, than what we had before, but they don't uh, bleed out un into or uh, away from our facility. So we have the, the lighting that we need and the reduced energy costs for that and the reduced maintenance. It's, um, it's an excellent package. So this facility, based on this retrofit, has now become kind of a flagship uh, project for prisons throughout the state of Oregon. Not only are they saving energy, but they're reducing their carbon footprint, and they're going to continue to have uh, maintenance savings. And with those savings, they can then begin to invest in other infrastructure upgrades. We have four apprentices. We're allowed up to four. We taught them how to read uh, electrical drawings and uh, how to um, organize their work and uh, keep track of it, as well as uh, assembly. We focused on exterior lighting here at the facility that was consuming a large amount of energy off the grid and looking at ways to optimize you know, a good energy retrofit to save the state of Oregon and their facility here a significant amount of energy. Thank you.